thank you for joining us again we want to welcome you if this is your first time of uh, watching our channel we appreciate your time and also we will be looking at some very important things today talking about water for we have put together some very interesting information uh, to share with you the viewers if this is your first time please click the subscribe button and share our videos to your network as you may already know that uh, waterfalls are some wonderful nature's um, endowment issues around the world and uh, we appreciate modern nature in that area uh, when you look at the video it's uh, one of the very important uh, quotes that shows uh, the incredible uh, nature uh, what nature offers to us and uh, us humans it is important for everyone to know that uh, just over 65% of the world's waterfalls are in danger at the moment and that's going to continue in the years ahead and we expect that um, if measures are not taken to be affected more. Now waterfalls of course we just know how these flows are of different vertical drops and they're of different criteria uh, depending on how they are falling and the way that um, they flow. It is also important to know that um, waterfalls come in, in different shapes and forms and the way they will stream out from rivers uh, will depend on the current landscape and uh, the particular topography. It is important for everyone to know their importance. Uh, there are over five biggest uh, different waterfalls around the world. The popular ones will be uh, the Niagara Falls in the US, the Angels Falls in Venezuela, the Iguana Falls in Argentina and Brazil. Uh, you have the Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe, uh, that's in Africa, and also you have the different very important falls around the world. Uh, it's of essence uh, for us to know that uh, waterfall will occur in different ways and uh, where bad water will drop in different categories and all also depends on the beauty as well. Um, in the process, we may understand that uh, waterfall may come as a result of earthquakes, depends on also maybe form as a result of volcanoes and also as a result of uh, glacier. Depends on the particular region around the world. Uh, this is important for us to, as humans, to try to protect you know, this modern nature's uh, gift to mankind. It's important. Now, there are different uh, waterfalls. You do have a segmented waterfalls, which completely explains uh, the distinctive streams, but each of them forming their own waterways, the way they are falling from the hills, if that's the case. Of course, you do have also uh, different uh, water segments uh, that are formed in that particular way. Now, we also have to know that waterfalls are very important, especially when they are falling. They will have to support the oxygenated nature of the water so that um, the fish or other um, water animals would have enough oxygen so it is very important to, um, to have water all around to different countries and regions that could be attested by people who come from particular areas around the world that offers uh, that has uh, water poles. the beauty of waterfall cannot be underestimated we do have waterfalls in different shapes and sizes. Of course, we do know that um, the fall in Venezuela, the Angus Falls in Venezuela, it's, um, it's one of uh, the tallest in the world, which actually explains um, the incredible nature of this particular nature, what God's given to uh, mankind. When you also look at um, the, the nature of the way the falls will come out, um, in, in terms of uh, the, the actual look, it will also vary on the environment that also has some impact. The methods of the way that the fall comes down will be very different as opposed to the topography. Now it's important for everyone to understand 
understand that these water are designed in a way that uh, will meet the different criteria of those particular regions. In principle, uh, water pools they run out of water, so does rivers and streams. If things are not done, the water pools may be affected and that may affect the regions as it's been used as electricity for most other countries around the world. Waterfalls could be described in different ways, could be cold and medium sized, straight and light, to be decorative, depending on how you want to approach that. A pop tan and tremendous uh, stupendous and slow turret and different uh, sparkling silent little multiple small but spectacular movements on uh, how you want to put that in terms of your description it's important there's something also you need to know that uh, water pool will always occur uh, when the maximum amount of water flows in the water and in that case it will be referred as an overflow it happens in different um, regions and that also depends on the particular season in that area of the world so people may experience that in a different way this might not be the same in the environment there are 10 different types of depending on uh, what what we're looking for we do have uh, 10 different types depending on how you want to approach that but you do have the punch bound waterfalls plunge waterfalls now uh, you do have the waterfalls uh, frozen and Fun waterfalls, you have the shooters, the cataracts, and the cascades. You also have the block waterfalls, depending on how they are forming. You do have some waterfalls around the world that are very dangerous, of course. Um, there are others that are serving the community in those countries. But again, you can do the danger that waterfall could pose, depending on the location. Essence, they have that positivity in the way that it relates to the different um, environment. We do have waterfalls that are tall actually, but there are other waterfalls uh, that are actually very hard if you really want to put that things together. Realize that uh, Norway they have. Uh, Waterfalls in the United States in Peru. This is where you find these high waterfalls in Hawaii as well. It is vital to know that. Of course, we do have small waterfalls as well that be named in different ways, but the devilish fall has always been the smallest in history for some time now. Waterfall has served as a source of electricity for most developing countries recently and there are different countries around the world that do have um, small uh, waterfalls as well. So in, in Asia, that's in particular in China, uh, Asia is the largest waterfall which is uh, from the province of Guangzhou uh, in the Hanwashu province. So, um, that's basically all what we have for you today. Uh, 